Right, the man who went on a hunger strike and sparked the campus unrest that put the national spotlight on Mizzou brought his message to Kansas City. New tonight, 41 Action News reporter Lexi Souter attended the Martin Luther King Day event. Lexi. Mike, this is the 47th year for a Martin Luther King Jr. celebration here at this church. And tonight, a very important message from a man who put his life at risk in the name of equality and justice. When I first was comfortable going on a hunger strike, this is the man who captured the attention of the nation last fall. Jonathan Butler, the Mizzou grad student, did not eat until the university's top leader stepped down. There is no more time to play around. There is no more time to patty cake. There is no more time to ask a system that was not built for us to help us. Every pew inside the Missionary Baptist Church was full to celebrate Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and hear this young man speak. I think it's important. That's why Tommy Thomas is here. Because this isn't just a Mizzou problem, it's a national problem. And we're looking at something that is centuries old, we're looking at race relations and equality and justice. Thomas is a Mizzou alum, former athlete, and a man who stands for equality. On this MLK holiday, he wants the world to recognize Dr. King's dream has not yet been fulfilled. How those speeches that he did then are eerily relevant to what's going on now is it's a it's a it's really a sign that things haven't changed as much as we thought they have, and we need to get those changes going. Butler knows his hunger strike sparked change in Colombia, but believes the country still has a long way to go. And we are still being gunned down by the police. We are still facing poverty. We are still being denied adequate education. So we are still fighting. Since the protests and resignations, Mizzou has named an interim president and chancellor, but still no formal positions have been announced. Reporting live in Kansas City, Lexi Suter, 41 Action News.